Yeah. All right, Kelly. Kelly, you got to put us on. Say three, two, one, go! No! She's just embarrassing. That's the answer right there, bro. It should be the answer. This is the answer right here. Come on, Joey. All right, y'all. Welcome back, everybody. to get another episode of I'm Down TV. George Gutty, Christoph the Third. Yeah, see me in a different setting today. So uh, we're kind of going back now to the last episode that we just did with um, Boys to Men, and we got my my childhood bully. And I hit you. There's no bully here. I got my childhood bully, the one who used to give me wedgies and throw me in the pool. The one who used to embarrass me in front of before people. Before the beer. Before the beer. Before the beer. And, and even with some beer. Yeah, and even true. with some beer. The patches. You had the patches. When well, he had that, when he had that twelve year old mustache. <laughs> it was fresh. Though. It was fresh. It was fresh all day. Ain't nobody fresh with a mustache. First of all. And little daughter Kiki, Kiki, doesn't want to see me. See, she's backing up from me. Kate, look, look over there. Say, and say hi. Say hi. There we go. So you gonna help us kind of talk back again about the whole boys to men and his point of view. So give, give. give. The audience a little bit about you before we get into the talk talk. You know, tell us your name, where right. you're from, social security number, all that good stuff. You know all right, so you can see I'm a father, but I want to start off with telling you this: all my life I had to fight. <laughs> purple rain. Oh, that's where the song is from, babe. By the way. The color purple. The color purple. You watch the movie? You really watch the movie? Well, Whoopi Goldberg. Wait, no, did you no really watch the movie? No eyebrows. No. Okay. Did you really watch the movie? Who purple? The color purple. You yeah, I did. Stop lying. You watch the movie? I know. Not, not all of it. Not all of it. I just know it has to do with Prince and. It had nothing to do with Prince. You watch the movie? No. The color purple. But it has nothing to do with Prince. It's not culture. It has nothing to do with culture. It's okay. First of all, you just said it has to do with Prince. No, it. Prince was in it. Prince was in it. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Everybody knows if Michael Jackson or Prince is a movie, it's about them. It's not about nothing. We all know this. So, so, so Drake's album is over Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. MJ all the way. All right, come on, sir. I, I like Prince. Please. My name is Hector Encarnacion. I used to be former, no longer current, buddy of George. Uh, what do you want to know, bro? I, I don't know. I'm not good with introductions. Um, Ask questions and I'll answer. How about all right. that? Well, all right, let's kind of let's let's chop it up. Let's get to it. So, when we last talked about the whole boys to men, right? It was about basically a lot to do with certain commitments, right? Okay. And kind of trying to lead to like to really just try to focus on why. Because I asked a question: What's the point of even trying to be a better man? Like, why not stay how you are, how you're comfortable? What's the whole point of even trying to be a better man? Like, what's the whole point of it for what? Why be a better man? Okay, why do you want to stay where you're at? That's where you're comfortable, usually, right? Okay, like, you but... Like, you know, it's like the, the whole society thing about, like... Every time, you know, guys go through that time in their life where... Or, I don't want to say time, but, you know, phase, whatever you want to call it, where they just kind of want to do dumb and do their own thing, and then they say, oh, after you're done that, then you want to settle down. So, like, but why does it have to be a phase? Why is that not just, like, a, like oh, this is who you are, period? Like, why, do you, why is it called a phase? Why do you think that... We have to go through and then settle down. I mean, I personally think that it's not. It could be a phase or it could not be a phase. A lot of people go through different facets of life that some people grow up quicker than others. Some people want to achieve things quicker than others do. For example, I've always had the mentality that some people want to go to high school. When they graduate, they want to use their 20s to, sorry, they want to use their 20s to. I, I get it. You're my boss. I get it. Okay. <laughs> I get it. It's not. Him. It's not her. It's not her. It's it's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, when it comes to that, is a lot of people have the mentality to graduate high school. When they leave high school, they want to use their twenties to have fun, party, club, drink, have sex, do whatever they want. And then in their thirties, they want to be able to. Okay, now I'm starting to get into my career. And then in your 40s, you're in career, and then you end up retiring by your 50s. Okay? That's the traditional state of mind. My state of mind has always been, why do that? Why can't I just graduate? And when I graduate, get into my career directly so that, that in my 30s, I'm, I'm already enjoying it. And in my 40s, I can retire instead of my 50s. Therefore, giving me the ability to enjoy my life 
receiving my pension and doing whatever I want to do for the rest of my life instead of having to wait 56 or even 70 years old to retire. That state of mind, if you want to go with it, by all means, but a lot of people have had different elements in their life that has taken place that they want to say, listen, in my, in my state of mind, like we're going to go back to the boys to men, okay, I didn't have a dad. I did have a dad. I love him to death. I have nothing against him. But he was never actually there. So instead of me using the fact that my dad, my father wasn't there to be around me, my father didn't show me how to be a man, my father didn't show me this, instead of using that as an excuse to stay in the hole, I said, you know what? You show me exactly how to be a man. In what aspect? You show me what type of man not to be. He was never there for me. I'm always going to be there for my daughter. He, he didn't show me how to, how to be a man, how to do it, because he was never there. So by him showing me what exactly what it was that he didn't do, showed me what to do. That's how I used it to better myself. And I'm sorry, but I think I'm pretty happy right now. Could I, well, let me ask you, have you ever thought about like what made you be wired so differently? Because you could have had every right in your life to say, because I didn't have a dad, I don't feel like I could be a dad and not take on that challenge of becoming a, like a fatherless president and like, you know, changing the narrative of your story. Simple. My brother's in prison. All my uncles, for the most part, they're all, don't, they don't have a career. They don't have nothing to leave a legacy of. I didn't want that. I wanted to separate myself from the normal, I guess, doctrine that my family was going down the line. It's not talking bad about them. Hey, by all means, they wanted to do whatever they're doing, but for myself, I wanted something, I wanted to do something where I was able to not depend check to check. I wanted to have my own house. I wanted to be a good father. I wanted to be a good husband. And that wasn't my environment. So since I didn't have that environment, I, I, I told myself I need to make myself that environment in order for it to move forward. That's why I have the personality that I have that. I could be having fun with everybody, but if I see that somebody is not inputting something positive into my life, I unplug. It has nothing to do with you. It's the fact that I want to move forward and whatever you're doing is not is not a helping me accomplish that goal that I want to accomplish. That's okay. a good question. Okay. But it's, it's just like it's hard, you know, like right because we we live in a in a neighborhood that you see it constantly. Like people just repeat the cycle. So there has to be something in you that that because you might want to not repeat the cycle, but you may not know how not to repeat the cycle. It gave me that because you just get caught up in the, the vicious cycle. You realize until you look back, you realize, oh wow, I became exactly my dad was, or I became exactly my uncles were, or my brother was, or whatever. And so you're kind of just stuck in there. You know what? Do you have a moment in your life where you said this changed it for me? Like this is where it was different. When I had my heart issue, because I was gonna, I was gonna go to the military. I was gonna do everything. I had my own personality, and then I was like. You know what? I saw my mom crying in the, in the apartment because she couldn't pay the bills. After I finished high school, I wasn't working. I wasn't doing anything. It goes through the face. But then I was like, I can't do this. Why am I doing the exact same thing to my mom that my uncles are doing, that my brother is doing, that my dad did to her? You know, growing up, you always see your parents struggling or being in a relationship with someone just for financial support. Why not just be with somebody because you want to be happy? Why does it have to be financial support? You know, in that aspect. And I always kept thinking, I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. What wired it? The fact that even to this day, I drive around the neighborhood that I grew in, and I see the same person that was in high school with me. I'm like, damn. He's still wearing Jordans. He's, yeah, he's still looking sharp, fresh haircut and everything. Still doesn't have a car. Now, mind you, we graduated in 2008. It's 2018. It's been 10 years, and you've done absolutely nothing with your life. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that person. And it's not trying to make myself higher than them, but it's like I've seen what that cycle has done. So why do you want to continue inputting into that? Why would I want to do that to my family? I have a daughter now. That shows me what type of man I need to be. I need to treat my wife the way that I want my daughter's husband to treat her. You're not going to get married! <laughs> she has to say that. We'll show her this like in 20 years. Yeah, right? yeah, in 20 years. She's like, remember your dad and dad <laughs> So, I don't want to show her that. If here in the house, I, I don't tell my wife, hey, get me water. I don't tell my wife, hey, get me this. Everything has always been a form of a question. Babe, can you do me a favor? Can you give me some water? Can you do me this? Can you do me that? Can you do me Hey, can you do me the favor? The baby picks up on that. That's what I want to show her is respect. You know, bring yourself to whatever it is that you want to do, whatever goal it is. Why always keep yourself in that hole that you, I've seen my family 
My family has been shot, they've been killed, they've gone to prison, they've got a drunk, they've got the UI, what do I want? Well, what's the purpose of continuing in that cycle? Mm -hmm. If you can answer that question, what is the purpose of continuing in that cycle, then you're all good. Continue doing that. If you find a, a legitimate reason as to why you want to be there. If not, hey, I'm sorry, I know I love you, God bless you, you know, it's but I got to do me. Right now you're at work, right? You want a career? What do you want to do? My own thing. My own business. I want Your own business, okay? But what if you start hanging around people that kept pulling you from that? Are you going to start hanging out with them or are you going to say, yo, I'm losing focus on what I want, I need to separate? It will it, depend, it's like you said, it's a mindset thing. You know, if you're hanging around the people that aren't going to, and we talked about that last time, right? Like, birds, when you kind of said birds of a feather flock together, right? It's this whole thing of, if you're around people that aren't necessarily with the mindset of, what you want to accomplish in life, then 9 to that 10, you're probably not going to accomplish those things, right? Because you're you don't have them. that support system to help you build at any You're not going to get them. I tell, I tell kids, they see me in uniform, oh my God, how do you act? Listen, if you want to be a firefighter, you study that. If you want to be a cop, you can't be around drugs or crime. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to be in the medical field, you hang around people that have like-minded interests in order for you to accomplish that because they're going to keep, you know, driving for that. If you want to go that way and everyone else wants to go left, it becomes, at the end of the day, willpower. Do you want to do what I want to do or do you want to go in another direction? Because the people that know me know that when I say no, it's no. They go, not the fact that no. Hey, don't worry about it. Because that's how I am. Why? Maybe my dad, maybe my mom. I just got tired of the same cycle over and over and over and over. And if you continue it, what am I going to teach my daughter? Hey, it's okay to get out of high school, get pregnant, live with somebody and do nothing for yourself. Right. And I don't want that. Alright, so one thing that we, every time we have a guest, we kind of try to do this where whatever we talk about, like I, was, like, I, I always like to say... By the way, I'm sorry for the legs. It's, it's been a long day. They're big, though. They're big. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, it's to think about that time when you were a kid or at a very young age where um, you would have wished somebody would have told you, basically, you just said, uh, all that experience that you got, you know, like, how does that... How, like, how do you turn that to something practical for someone to kind of just start to, you know, like, okay, this is kind of the direction I want to kind of take? Because, you know, a lot of times when you're in certain situations, you tell people, you know, you give people advice, right? Oh, you do this, that, and the third. But, you know, you kind of open their mind to something new, but if they don't have direction, they usually go right back to what they're doing. You, get me previously. You, you have, and it's my personal thought, you have two state of minds. You have, I'm a strong believer that you come to me and you ask me for advice, I'm going to give you the advice. I'm going to open up my heart, I'm going to give you all the best advice that I can. I'm going to have once, I'm probably going to do that twice. If you keep going back to the same cycle, I'm sorry, but I'm not coming to advice because I have, I have nothing to tell you. Now, in my life, I, I, I have the way that I think now because of the actual experiences that I went through. They get me. I, I treat my wife the way that I do. I behave the way I do. I am in the career that I am because of the experiences that I had. Because I tell myself, damn, I had no one to tell me this, but now that I went through it, I know exactly how to behave or how to react when I go through certain things. Unfortunately, you have those people that you give them advice and they do listen. What age in life? I can't really tell you. Probably my, that high school era where I was trying to figure out myself. Like, in the sense of what I want to do with life, is this really what I want? Do I want to go here? Do I want to go there? And your you know, high school is finishing, so what am I going to do with my life now? Had I, some, had I had somebody there that would have guided me, it would have been a good idea. It would have been fantastic. But I did it. I can't paint a picture for something that I didn't get. And I'm not going to lie and say, no, I wish somebody would tell me this. I've never done drugs. But that was because of my willpower. Because I, I, have, I'm the, I am that person that I am. I, I don't need to be influenced by other people in order for me to want to do something. You know, when you have, when you have heart for something, it doesn't matter what people are going to tell you, you're going to do it because that's what you want to do. You know, and what age? I can't really give you an answer. Let me have that. What I do tell you is, no matter whatever it is that you're currently going through, once you get out of it, you can look back and say, hey, I know exactly how to react from now on. For example, you got in a relationship, right? Fantastic guy, ah, you're talking, and you say something stupid because man, I would say something stupid. They never say anything stupid. I don't say anything stupid. You're a smart man. Thank you. Listen, 
and all of a sudden you get into an argument, right? Ah, whatever, going back and forth. Next time you you see that somewhat topic, you're gonna go, I ain't gonna say that again, because <laughs> you know where it's gonna lead. Yeah. So you learn from that experience, and hopefully you don't make it again. But if you're stubborn, you're gonna keep poking and poking and keep falling, and that's when you keep going back into that cycle. That comes into not only the developing yourself as a man, but also maturing. You know, like a dog will never step on the same hole twice. They'll step on it, yeah, it's not gonna happen again. But they learn from it. That's part of maturing. That's part of becoming a man. I've made my mistakes. There's no thing. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna find an excuse. No, I won't do this, I won't do that, I've never done this, I've never done that. I already made my mistakes. And whether it's to with a relationship or with someone, there's only two things that I can ever tell you. I don't care how much people ask for, oh, but tell me when you gotta find that. Listen, I can only tell you two things. I'm sorry, and it won't happen again. Aside from those two things, I can't tell you anything else. I already told you that I'm sorry, therefore apologizing for whatever it is that I did. I already tell you that I'm not going to do it again. Why do I have to keep explaining myself? Just to make you feel better? It makes no sense. But you mature from it, and you keep moving forward. And you keep moving forward. I am where I am, and I have the state of mind that I have now because of what I went. Can I say, bro, I wish I went back and I didn't do all these things? Great. Right now, I probably would have been a different person. But I'm not. I am the person that I am now. So it's like saying there's beauty in the struggle, right? It's like there's, you learn. From if you learn to go through it and don't let it bring you down, except I tell people, when you're going through the struggle, you can do two things. You can let it hold you down and bum around your entire life, or you can use it as fuel to push you up to wherever it is that you want to be. You go, you went through the struggle. All you got to do is get up, dust yourself out, and keep walking. You're going to keep falling, but keep walking forward. At the end of the day, you're going to get wherever it is that you want to go. So well, I have one more question. Okay. Yeah. Um, he has a smirk when he came with this question. He's like, no, 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 no. But it's because it's like, you know, you hear this amazing story, and if you guys had more time, I'm trying to show you the videos, but you guys don't really know, like, you know, Hentai's not saying this, he's living this. But let me ask you, like, a, a question. You always envisioned yourself as a father and as a husband? Like, always, in spite of your, your past? I did. Yeah? I, I've always been a family man. I, I grew up surrounded by women. So I've always had respect for women. Always, 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 always. And I wanted something. I wanted to say, listen, I, I want to be a family man because I want to show that it can be done even though if you have not been shown what it is. You know, my mom and my dad were together and then it just poof. And then one was on one end, the other one was on the other end. And I'm like, this is not what I want. Therefore, using it as fuel to show me what it is that I want. I want to have a family. I want to have a new business. I want to provide for my wife. I want to provide for my daughter. I want to provide for myself. I want to keep something that says, hey, and I, I want it to be the example for my family that no matter what, whatever is going around, if you want something to be changed, you have to do it. Now, it sounds kind of cliche, but if you want change, you have to be it. You know, I don't drink. Most of my family does. Why don't I drink? Because I've seen what the alcohol does. I don't want to lose my train of thought in whatever it is that I'm doing. You know, if I'm in an, if I'm in an environment, I I pull myself out and I say, wait, let me see what's going on. Hey, I don't like this. In my element, in my house, hey, I'm sorry, we're not gonna smoke here. You wanna smoke, go downstairs, go outside. And that's that's how you set it up. So you set up boundaries, you set up vision towards the goal. You you like you don't give yourself a space. That can lead you to a place that you don't want to go. Listen, we're all human. You could be a straight line. You're gonna probably gonna step here and step here because you all do it do it from time to time to get balance. But it's not the same thing as using it like, oh crap, all right? Let me keep walking forward and just deviating and going every, everywhere where it is that you want to go, or you think you want to go in the moment because in the moment you're blind about all, by whatever it is that's distracting you instead of focusing wherever it is that you want to go. If you put yourself in a in a bubble. So people say, oh, you, you don't know how to call me, you don't know how to live, you're like, what you're doing right now in your life is not going to provide something positive to what I'm doing in my life. I'm happy with my marriage, I apologize, but you guys are going through constant arguing. It's not what I want, because then that argument is going to come into my house. Hey, so what did you think of? I don't care for it. It has nothing to do with me. May God bless them. Keep going. I'll send him a text message, hey, how you doing? You doing good? Very fantastic. God bless you. If you need me, I'm here. But am I going to surround myself with that? Why? So then her and I can start arguing? That's good. Yeah. That's deep. 
Right. Put that in a t shirt. <laughs> Put that in a t shirt. I think we're going to close this one up. But you know, this is dope because you let us on a cliffhanger. I was in Georgia before we got here, and we'd love to also have one with your wife, you know, as, as like the marriage nucleus. So, guys, if you follow the next episode, we'll have that incarnation fitness family together. <laughs> Uh -huh. Right? Close us uh -huh. out, George. Uh -huh. Alright, y'all. So, y'all already know. Thank you guys for watching once again. Thank you guys for your support. We appreciate you guys. If you guys have anything to add, comment down below. Oh, we have, What did you want? <laughs> we have, you know, other IGs, Twitters, and Facebooks down in the description down below. Uh, we'll also tag ENC Family so you guys can go ahead and check out their stuff, what they're doing um, with the whole fitness journey and motivating people. And uh, we thank you guys for watching once again. Tune in to the next episode. Hopefully we'll have my ex-bully here with his wife. I'm not a bully, dog. <laughs> and uh, we thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. Peace. <laughs> 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 <laughs>